a drawbridge in disguise. Challenge extra car, only one hydraulic, and no hydraulic, no hydraulic controller, okay. What? So we have to go over and then come back like the normal bridge, but and without hydraulicking, this has to make it up here? My brain hurts. Actually, I have an idea. <laughs> I'm gonna cheese this. It's simple, because every car kinda needs to go over. We will have A1 come back, and it'll load its way back, or it'll just roll its way back down, hopefully. Maybe. Possibly. It's a little sketch, not gonna lie. I, I, don't, I don't feel confident in this thing being able to drive backwards and go backwards, but we're gonna give it a shot anyways. This is gonna get quite a start. I assume it can make it up this hill. Okay, we've lost before we've even begun. Oh, wait, hold on. Well, here's what we can do then. We can still cheese it with one hydraulic. Okay, that was rude. We can do this. It's like the same idea. And then if this doesn't work, this is the skeleton for our actual design. Aren't you supposed to go? Oh, it's B. This is not C. So, the spring idea is actually pretty simple. I mean, basically, it will just allow itself to make it on over. All right, let's see if you can make it up now. It should be less steep now because of the springs. Ooh. All right, beautiful spring design. Let's see how this works. All right, great. I think that's a failure. I think we can conclusively say that this probably won't work. I would like to set up an actual fucking strategy. It's gonna have to detach, okay? And this is gonna be supported by springs. So when the car drives over here, it's gonna be weighed down by these springs. And actually, I think I'll do a little steel muscle as support going to here. So we show that it means business. So detach. Oh, it's detached! It has detached. Now let's see if this thing weighs it down. Um, huh. Wow. I really expected it to impact it more, not gonna lie. I'm gonna try an entirely new idea. The arch is actually gonna go like this. Next up, we're gonna have a small road like this that isn't attached. We're gonna do this and we're gonna just kinda drag this like so. So let me explain how this level works, uh, or is supposed to work. This car is supposed to go over. At this checkpoint, the boat will come by. After the boat comes, then we have our hydraulic phase and then the car comes back, and then immediately E goes over without another hydraulic phase. There's only one hydraulic phase. So the difficulty here is finding a the correct way to use hydraulics because it's just kind of, it's, it's messy. So this is actually going to kind of loop around like this, and then we're going to have a, a road about, well, here, I guess. I was going to have this be a hydraulic. If you're wondering exactly what's going on, don't worry. It should be um, clear eventually. So the, here's how the concept of the design. The car is going to go over, and then the hydraulic is going to pull this road up. So that way the car will be able to drive back under it. And then it's going to hit this little trap door thing. It's going to hit this and push this up so that the road itself com will come back down for the other car to drive over. It's going to take, I think, a lot of tweaking, but it is a work in progress. I actually really like this design. I think it's just gonna need some more tweaking on this. Okay. Come on. Okay, so this needs to adjust because the trap door portion is not working at all. Oh, is this gonna make it? This would actually be really nice if this made it. Because it's like the perfect. Ooh. Come on. Come on. You can do it, buddy. Nah, not quite still. The the way it contracted was very nice though. I think I'm gonna need to change some angles to allow it to push this easily while simultaneously t uh, twisting it at a decent um, amount of angles. Is it gonna make it through without hitting this? Oh, come on, just let it, just push, yes. This is totally okay. Just get through. Just do it. Don't let your dreams be dreams, it's so close. I, it's so close as a concept. Wait, oh my god, is it insanely close? I can actually I can actually lower this. And then I want to lower this as well. Okay, it's under. And it's pushing. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, it's up. Is it over though? No. It's so close. Massive progress here. 
I do have three roads now, so I ne don't necessarily need to have the bridge end where it is right now. I could mess around with that. I mean, there's a lot of things I can mess around with still while keeping the soul of the bridge. So, keep that in mind. I wouldn't give up on it just be oh, just because we have failed here. So the reason why I'm making it longer is because I'm pretty sure the it doesn't actually fuck with this car while coming up because it hits here and then it's also closer to the track. <laughs> uh, that got a nice little push. Dude, this bridge is hard. Actually, hardest bridge for me. You are so limited in what you can do. It, it's, it's ridiculous. The only reason we're even close is because this takes a long time here. God, like, this looks so good, but then... <gasps> oh! It, that's because it is good! Please, for the love of God, fuck you. Fuck you. We can fix this, though. We can fix this 100%. Piece of shit. I hate, I hate this so much. I was actually excited. That was legitimately gonna be it. Now I have to redesign this. God damn it, I didn't even consider that to be a possibility. It's like we're getting this within five minutes. It's just happening. Please? Oh, it's done. We were so close. We were so close, and we just need a minor amount of tweakage, and we got there. Less than 90% stress. This was the hardest bridge I've ever done so far. I'm sure there's a really simple way to do it. I just couldn't get it. All right, on to the next one. Trailblazer. So the challenge is no hydraulics. Let's check it out. So we have to have C get by through to here while somehow avoiding the road that we create for A. Well, C we can obviously start with. C is the easier part of this. We just have to do a ramp. It's, it's, um, yeah, it's, it's relatively simple, but it may require some adjustments as well. I think I would actually like for steel to reach everywhere, so I will just do this. It's a little too steep, I think, so I'll just kind of smooth this out a little. And then some of this, and then some of this. So now we gotta figure out exactly how we wanna have A go ahead and cross and come back without using a single hydraulic. I was thinking about maybe just having this go for a jump, however I saw the speed on it. 3.5 meters per second. So, uh, that's not fast, that's, that's not like jump speed, you don't make a jump with that. So I've gotta figure out something else. This is going to be just a little simple road like so, let me stretch this out a little bit longer. Oh, is this really as long as it goes? Okay, it goes here, it's fine. So then, I'm gonna do a little something like this. There's the overall skeleton. Let's get some supports down, and then we gotta figure out the actual mechanism that I'm going to use on those two roads that I have on the left. Because it's not self-explanatory just by looking at it, and truly, I'm still kinda working out my own head. And do a normal support to here. I might even just double up on supports, because I don't actually mind that much. And then do a little cable here and bring this higher. So, this is a weird little trap door that can be pushed up by this car. Now, what I don't know is if this is going to completely destroy this, even though it does have the motion to go up now. It probably will, but we have to test regardless. Alright, so let's see. Um, interesting. That's actually not expect I expected it to break. I'm going to be honest. It was actually a little bit of the use supports underneath. I'm going to run it once more for reinforced roads just to see. Yeah, like, the trap door didn't break, the road's below dead, so... Oh! There's potential here! There is mad potential here, that's actually really good! Holy shit, I think we can just simply add, like, a few more supports up here and we get her done. Or I could just build more roads, since I have a bunch of money still. Ooh, almost there. Lower this again. Very close. You know, I could also tell some there were some issues in the supports. The spring, I think, may change, though. I'm not, I'm not entirely sure how I feel about it right now. Oh! Oh? Ah! We've done it! A nice, clean design. And we've really overspent, like, a lot. I definitely feel like I was just overspending to kind of keep it safe. Which is why we are a very poorly placed here. But I will make it a point to return to this and every level actually to go for maximum budget. I just feel happy enough beating this for now. Oh, also, yeah, not many people made it to this level. Only 80 people have beaten this one. Alright, on to the next one. The diagonal drawbridge. 
challenge, no hydraulics, and 60k budget? This is possible? You can get this fucker up without hydraulics? What was the budget before? Was it like 75,000? It was a lot more, I think. So, I mean, this guy goes fast, right? He goes 12 meters per second. But I swear, I have tried doing a ramp with this before, and it did fail. I mean, to, in my defense, I didn't try it that hard. I guess that's not actually my defense, but to be fair, I, I could have put a little bit more effort into the ramp, but I figured I was just going to commit to the whole diagonal drawbridge thing. This is going to be weird. Budget's actually going to suck here. This is a test of concept. We are significantly, I'm spending way much, way more than what I would like to here but I'm merely testing a concept. I just want to see if one, this holds, and two, if the jump actually works. So, actually, it doesn't hold. I wonder if this can be fixed with Reinforced Road, or what if you could glitch bridge in real life? Dude, what if? This is what I was worried about! How the fuck is this supposed to get up? Where do we get the speed? It probably has to do with the angle, right? The angle's just way too damn uh, high, so it's not gonna generate that speed. But I have no fucking choice. The blimp is right here. And this is just, again, proof of concept. We're gonna shave money later. No, it's not even close. I think we can actually officially write this off now. If that jump doesn't even get close to getting up there, uh, we have to... Maybe we can go over the blimp. Like, we have joints over here, so I assume maybe we can do something like this? <laughs> I, maybe? <laughs> Let me actually try just the simplified versions of, of this. If it can actually make it up to the end here, then it actually can make it all the way. You know what? There's actually potential here. Hold on. So now I've just got to make amazing supports. Um, I'll just do under, uh, under or over supports. I actually have no fucking idea. I'm going to have to do over supports at some point though. Maybe starting now? The thing is, this isn't gonna like balance by itself. It's gonna need to go all the way. So maybe I should just cave and build the whole fucking thing. I also just realized that we could just let this thing destroy the bridge. But I'm trying to have it be a multi-use thing, maybe. Well, for now. In the beginning, I gotta, I got I can't just like bitch out of it right away. I gotta at least have an attempt to maybe make a multi-use bridge. Admittedly, we could really cheese this though. But I care and I think it'd be cooler if this is pulled off. Well, with the other car, I was just thinking we'd do, like, a separate bridge. Like, here's how we could do it, hypothetically. We could have a bridge from here to here for this car. That'll be destroyed when this guy comes. And then a separate bridge for the E-car. That'll just kind of go, like, maybe, like, just straight out and drop off. The other car would have quite a fall, but, you know, shit's indestructible in this game. So I, I could drop it from an infinite height, and it just doesn't take fall damage. We are madly over budget. Actually, are we, though? If this works, we've actually almost got it. This isn't going to hold, though, I think. It's going to fall right away. Okay, I've eaten my words. Please make it, actually. Holy shit, buddy. You can do it. Put your 12 meters per second to the test. No! Wait, we're so close. The bridge is already made out for E. We just need to make the thing go up a little bit. Something like this, and then this. Just a simple little ramp up here that this guy could easily push over. Come on. Come on. It's this place now, I see. So I bring this in, and then I gotta bring this up. Alright, we're gonna just hope this is enough. If not, I'll just add another road. I'll just add another road if this fails. Not a big deal. Damn! That's hardly an angle change, but I guess when it when it comes down to it, it is a big deal. That's fine, we, we got more roads. Okay. Nice. And here comes the blimp. Um... We're good. It doesn't hit the bridge. Now what I... <laughs> We might actually fail here. I'm not sure if this car is going to push this road over. It's like just a tiny little flap. Oh, there you go. Well, um, it technically still could fail in a very funny way. But it doesn't. We just cleanly got it done. Look at that reusable bridge. This was sick. Did I always see like 50% stress? 50 something? I could shave a lot of money off this eventually. This, this one's very much improvable 100 percent only 71 people beat this level where you at my polybridge homies maybe they don't know it exists maybe it's just really fucking hard on to 414 